you've probably heard this before. Is it cold enough for you? Well, we're in North Carolina. And it's supposed to get down to about 7 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. The South isn't used to that. So I had to take some precautions. Because seven is pretty cold. Now, I noticed that my vents are positioned pretty good. There's a vent in this bathroom back here. There's a vent in the main bathroom that way. And there's a vent in the kitchen that are right near the cabinets. <coughs> so, with the vents being placed in those areas, it's going to keep the pipes on every one of my sinks fairly warm. And then what I did was I went out into my laundry room. Yes, the hated laundry room. And I have a space heater. I plugged the space heater in out there because there's no heat in that room. But I don't want my pipes getting cold. So I keep the room warm, or at least at a moderate temperature, the pipes will stay good. Plus, they're insulated. They're inside the walls. My mind told me that paying maybe an extra 30 or $40 on this month's electric bill for running that space heater for maybe two nights is a lot cheaper than calling a plumber. Especially in the wee hours of the morning. So the only thing that I have to think about, and I'm not quite sure how to handle it, is I'm sure there are pipes in the crawl space underneath the house. And I'm hoping that the crawl space will keep them warm. Now, it's going to be 7 degrees. When you add the wind in, the wind makes it even lower. So those pipes are probably at 7 degrees. And I just pray that nothing bursts. Yeah, prayer. That's another thing that went into my repertoire. And I have faith that the Lord will put a hedge of protection around this house and protect all my pipes. And my prayer is that he does the same for you during this cold weather. Thank you for listening, and have a nice evening. Bye.